Yeah, okay, cool. I think it's just being slow. What's up, Hacksters? We have a full house today. We actually have a ton of people in um, the office from the Matrix creator team. Samreen is here being quiet over there. Just check it out. <laughs> we have Alfred too, we have a couple guys from Chirp, which is really cool, and we have Tian Li from Morpix, the robot company. Super cool! So, uh, our week has been incredibly busy, and yesterday I went straight from Arm Tech Con to uh, Twilio's Signal Conference, thanks to this guy Andre on Twitter, uh, who gave me a free pass! So cool! And I managed to make it like six minutes before they closed the res registration and basically beg them like, do you have any of the electronic badges yet? Because this is what he showed me on Twitter, okay? Um, this, I mean, it's, it's slightly different because I was already messing with it a bit, but this is an entire Raspberry Pi Zero W <laughs> on this ridiculously complex badge that's gorgeous and it has a touch screen and it has a Seed Grove port and it has a shitty add-on, aka SAO port, the uh, the system that was established for DEF CON this year for, so that you can add more cool stuff onto your badges. Because who wants to only wear one badge at a time? No way! That just doesn't do anymore. So what I'm trying to do now is I have... Um, so it had a bunch of cool features that worked while you were at the conference and uh, it would automatically connect to the conference Wi-Fi, which I'm amazed that that really worked. Uh, but apparently it did. They've got also, oh yeah, they've got like five NeoPixels down here too. Um, but since that's not the case anymore, I am trying to make it work just as a Raspberry Pi. And um, so this, actually this message here, signal hack pack application loading, it's called the hack pack v4. Um, etc. This takes a minute, we can't wait to see what you build. This is just a, a background on the little screen uh, and <laughs> I've actually been using my fingernail as a tiny stylus to use, to poke these buttons. So I've got the Wi-Fi uh, dialog up and I'm going to try and hook it up to the um, the the Hackster Wi-Fi so that I can then SSH into it. That does mean that I'm going to have to run the config and uh, actually enable SSH for one thing, unless they already had that enabled, which I'm assuming they didn't. So I'm just gonna... I probably typed that wrong, so let me try it one more time. Oh, it's showing it in plain text. Good thing you can only see it really, 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 really tiny. Um, and what I've done in order to make that happen is I only had one OTG cable that allows me to plug in a full-size USB for the um, for the keyboard, so I just soldered the power cable directly onto the Pi, which is not you know the least janky solution in the world. It is one of the more janky solutions, but whatever. Um, and so that allows me to plug in my weirdly shaped OTG cable and uh, use this keyboard. So now. I'm gonna, uh, I would like to up the brightness so that this is a little easier to see, but what I'm gonna do is pull up a terminal, uh, and that's launching slowly, it looks like. Here we go. Ha 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 ha! I'm gonna try and <laughs> make the font bigger. Oh yeah, there we go! Uh, if, oh, if config, get the IP address. Oh my goodness, this is so tiny and very dim. Oh no, can I even see? Let's see. Mm, what if I like page up and page down? Uh, no, that doesn't do anything. What if I arrow up and down? That also does not. Oh! Nope, that doesn't. Oh, I can see the commands they were running before, but the window is too big to actually see any of it. Oh no! Okay, let's see. What, how else can I do this? Um, well, it probably has the address raspberrypi.local, and I'm guessing they haven't changed any of the default passwords. Now we do have a few Raspberry Pis on the network right now, um, so this may be problematic. In fact, we've got a matrix creator over there, but I changed the host name on that one. So let's see if I can just um, SSH into raspberrypi.local. I'm going to pull this up so that you can look at it too. Make the text bigger, make the window smaller. Uh, give me just a second here. Window capture. And we're going to use iTerm. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's the one where I'm playing with uh, the creator, actually. Here's my empty screen. Cool, okay. So, what I'm going to do is try to just SSH into... Raspberry Pi.local. Ooh, but this is on the Hackster Things network, so I would have to 
change networks, which would kill the stream. No. Well, so anyway, <laughs> if you have a signal badge, uh, I guess I'll save this part for later and just publish a tutorial later on. Um, for now, uh, enjoy looking at this badge. Let's just take a look at the rest of the badge, and I'll post like a tutorial about this later on. Um, because, you know, forethought is apparently... I just got really excited about this, honestly, and I wanted to do a video right away. Um, so if I unplug this, uh, actually mostly if I unplug the power, we can take a look at this. Sure, I'll do a nice shutdown. Why shouldn't I do a nice shutdown? We'll do... just delete whatever was there, and say sudo shutdown now. And it's gonna do its little, like, shutdown system. We're just probably going to close that. There we go. Okay, I'm going to un unplug it now and show you. Someone on uh, Instagram was wondering what the back of this looks like. Uh, and in order to show you that a little bit better, I'm going to pull it out of here. So this is the thing as a whole. You couldn't really tell from that little close-up that we had, but it's ridiculous. So there's this uh, whole 3D printed uh, chassis thing uh, I guess you could just call it an enclosure, uh, made by uh, this company called Voodoo, I guess that does sort of mid-range uh, different amounts of 3D printing that are like, you know, above maybe a hundred devices or whatever. Uh, and then there's this entire LiPo battery pack. Like, this is a, a heavy-duty battery pack, and it weighs a lot, so I guess they just, they made 2,000 of these, and they, I guess, wanted them to last for the entire conference, so this is hefty. Um, I was even charging it off my phone last night and only went down 2%. <laughs> um, and then, as I mentioned, there's the Seed Grove kit, there's your uh, shitty add-on port, there's your five NeoPixels, you got little uh, buttons that say um, select, start, X, Y, A, and B, you've got your Pi and this really nice little uh, um, joystick, you've got this heavy-duty metal clasp, and then you have this is what the back looks like inside of there. It's just pretty simple, you know, just some vias and, and through-hole uh, soldering, and they've got their own little logo for it. <laughs> Hackpack V.4, we can't wait to see what you build in a little, you know, HTML comment format with the, like, you know, the, uh, whatchamacallits and the, what are those called, anyway? What? The, like, little, I should know. Yeah, the little tag indicators. I know this somewhere in my brain, but... <laughs> and it says, 0806 Challenger Edition, not for real resale, again, in the uh, little HTML comment format. Super cool. So you can go to hackpack.cc to find out more about this. Uh, and I can't wait to, like, actually start using it as a little computer. I wanted to show you, actually, um, really, really quick because I think I'm keeping some people waiting. <laughs> um, but I have on here somewhere. Probably not there. Nope. <laughs> okay, let me hide this. Um, I have a couple of other little computers to show you. Uh, you're probably familiar with the pocket chip, which is a chip um, small computer that uh, has a little touch screen as well, and a little clicky keyboard. But are you familiar with the Pi Ocket? Uh, so this thing comes with a little clicker keyboard. It's someone's project to put a Pi Zero in your pocket. And so I like to think that these are kind of related spiritually. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you can also, if you're, if you're interested in the realm of like little pocket Raspberry Pi computers, uh, then check this out. It's $40 and you can attach a screen and everything and, make, and get it working. Um, and then of course, if you remember the pocket chip, they, uh, the chip company unfortunately went out of business, like super out of business, like a few months ago. But um, you may still be able to uh, get a pocket chip somewhere on eBay or something. There also was a, a pocket chip subreddit a part of the chip subreddit, and they had a whole thread for sort of swapping them around if you want to get your hands on one. Um, good luck trying to find one of those. Uh, I'm really excited, as I mentioned, to uh, 
hack around on this some more and bring you some more info on what to do with it. Uh, and if you have any things that you've built with it, if you happen to be at the Signal Comp for more than five minutes, I would love to see! Uh, so we'll be back in a bit with some more cool video for y'all, uh, and have an awesome weekend if we don't see you before then. Ciao!